Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. Let's go ahead and get into it. What messages do you have for the collective when it comes to love and romance? What messages? Okay, first card out we have is I regret this facade with him or her. Wow, okay. You know, you have somebody that's pretending or that did pretend to have certain feelings for somebody, or it was just a projection. So for some of you, you may be dealing with somebody that is connected to another person. You may be connected to another person. You be you may be married. You may be in a relationship. This person may be in a relationship or may be married, but whoever your person is, the first card out, it's like they're embarrassed by keeping up a lie or by continuing to pretend to have emotions and feelings that they don't. This is an energy where I feel like your person is someone that's gone through the motions over and over and over and over again. Um, and I think that it's really, really challenging because the more that things progress, the more that this person is beginning to become illuminated by the fact that whoever they're dealing with, whether it's a lifestyle, whether it's just this person at work, maybe they're keeping up a facade with their friends that they don't have emotions towards you. Whatever it may be, this person is tired of living a lie. And a lot of times I don't like to talk about the other party or the other energy involved because at the end of the day, your connection with your person is with your person. All everybody else in the background is just noise. So with your person, they're also embarrassed at the fact that they had to hide how much they really care about you, how much they love you, how much they want to be with you, the significance that you played, the impact that you've played in this person's life. They're embarrassed. It's like, why am I continuing to keep up some type of lie for social media, some type of lie in front of my friends in order for them to see me in a certain light when in reality, whoever you're dealing with is suffering because they feel alone. I always say this, the worst thing in the world, um, one of the worst things, right, is when you're single and alone, it's a different type of energy, right? Because at any moment you can go meet somebody, you can go online, you can do whatever. But if you are in a relationship and you feel alone, that's probably one of the most lonely feelings than being single and alone. And I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they're tired of going to bed at night not feeling fulfilled. They're tired of going to bed at night pretending to be happy in a relationship or in a situation that they're not. And I feel like this person's walls and this person's mask are beginning to disintegrate or beginning to drop around them. And people are beginning to notice that this person is acting different, being different, seeing things different. And whoever you're dealing with, they still have pictures of you in their phone. I, I, I just get that there's a heavy fixation when it comes to you. I also feel like with this person, it's funny. It's what, when I'm sitting here trying to channel these messages, there's so many messages coming at me all at one time where I, I don't know if your person is just trying to like process things or what it may be. But this is an energy coming in here that can't get over you. And it's like they regret the choices that they made because the reality is they've never been able to let go of you. Despite whoever is in their life or not in their life, like you're the one person that really left an imprint on this person's heart. You're the one person that changed the way that this person thinks, the way that this person acts, and even the way that this person responds to certain things. I don't feel like as a collective, you truly process or truly understand the significance of your impact on this person's life and how you've changed them. There's something about you changing them. And every time this person looks at your picture online, every time they look at the picture that you've sent them, or they even just have this memory of the last time that the two of you were, were together as one, this person is just like, this is my person. There's always that moment where you know, I'm in love with it. I, I'm in love with this, this human. Whoever is in front of me, this soul that's in front of me. And I feel like 
your person, whoever you guys are thinking about as you're watching this, they're remembering who you are to them. And I feel like they look at your picture a lot. They look at your picture constantly. It's cute. I had gone back home for Christmas to California. My grandpa, he's like, I don't know, 88, 89. Um, and I looked at his phone and I'm like making fun of him. And I look at his phone and on his phone as his screensaver, it's my grandma. And they've been married for since they were 18 or something. And it's funny because they always kind of like rip on one another. But at the end of the day, looking at his phone, I literally said to myself, he really does love her. Despite him, you know, her driving him crazy, despite, you know, um, you know, the way she thinks or the things she says, or it's like, he really does love her. And you can see that even when he talks, you know, and, and you, and again, you can see when, when she's making him crazy, but at the end of the day, he really does love her and she is on his screensaver. So for some of you, your person may have your picture saved as their screensaver. But I feel like they look at your pictures a lot. And I feel like for some of them, this may even come where they get very, very emotional while looking at it because they feel like they messed up a good thing. This is about this person having a sense of introspection. I need your body. This is somebody that's having very intimate moments. And you may be dealing with somebody that it's easier for them to communicate through a sense of intimacy emotionally than it is just in the normal day to day. There are people that are like that because that is their comfort zone. Their comfort zone with what they know that they're good at is a sense of intimacy. And how they touch you or how they make love to you, that is ultimately the way that they show you how they love you and how they care. I'm not here to advocate and say that that's right or it's wrong, but it, but that does happen. And I feel like with this person, you've been heavy on their mind. There is a very intimate energy that's swirling and I'm trying to keep it YouTube friendly. But this person wants to be next to you. It's like they want to feel your flesh on theirs. They want to be able to touch you. They want to be able to kiss you. They want to be able to hug you. They want to be able to be in your presence and feel the warmth of your skin, especially if you and this person have not come into contact yet, because I do know that there are some people that have not been physically intimate with your person. Your person has been thinking um, a lot, a lot of fantasy type of energy. And it's because this person is realizing that you're their person. They're tired of just looking at the pictures, wondering what it would be like to be with you again, wondering what it would be like to touch you again. It's like this person really does want you, want you close. And for a lot of you, this is somebody that's asking, hey, do I still even have a chance with you? Is this even a possibility for us to have? Because whoever you're dealing with, okay, they're extremely embarrassed over their actions. That's why they're sitting here saying, do I have a chance with you? They're embarrassed because they fell into the facade of the perception of what they're meant to be, the perception of who they're meant to be with instead of just living their life. So you're dealing with somebody that's embarrassed. They're embarrassed over the way that things have gone. They're embarrassed over the way that things have been when they know that you are their divine match. And this is about this person following their destiny because they believe that the two of you are meant to be with one another and that they should have protected the connection instead of pushed it away. And this is about taking care of you and also taking care of their own self and creating a sanctuary between the two of you. And I feel like with your person, there was something here about a power play or something here about having a sense of control over their emotions and over the connection in general. So this is about them having these insecurities and allowing the insecurities, allowing people to come in and influence. And that influence ultimately is what dictated or controlled the downfall or whatever of whatever happened with your connection. And every person is different, right? We have 40 or 50,000 people typically watching these videos at a time. So 
with that being said, it's like this person is now embarrassed realizing their own insecurities is really what came in to destroy this energy, that it's always been you, that this person is fiending for you, that this person wants to feel you, they want to touch you, they want to close the distance. For some of you, you may be in a long distance relationship with this person, but whatever distance this person has created amongst the two of you, they're understanding that it's the challenges. They've created these challenges because they were out of touch with their emotions. Now this person is in this energy where they're acknowledging, you know what, I'm embarrassed. They're having that self-reflection. Am I happy? We all go through it, right? We all go through those moments where we question, am I happy? Is there something I should be doing different? Am I leaving the imprint on life that I'm meant to leave? Because when you die, guess what? You don't take anything away with you. When, you know, you pass away or when you work hard and 10 years from now, you know, you're not going to remember all the work that you did, but your kids are going to remember the time that you didn't spend with them or your friends or your family or whatever it may be. So, I feel like with this person, they're beginning to have a shift in perspective here and they're beginning to understand that they have to do what it takes in order to keep your relationship alive. This is coming into me as like a renewal of romance and of care. And this is somebody that may want to take baby steps and really taking the time to get to know one another. But I also get this person wanting to move slow, but then also quick at the same time. So as my guides are showing me this, I'm saying, okay, but that doesn't make any sense. And they're like, yeah, yeah, it does. Just, just do it. I'm like, okay. So it's really, really fascinating because it's like they want to take things extremely slow because they want to make sure that they don't get hurt. And they want to make sure that as time progresses, they're making the necessary changes and adjustments that are necessary and needed in order to succeed in life with you. But at the same point in time, it's like they want to rush into this connection. I want to spend more time with you. I'm telling you, the, the fact that there's all of this physical energy coming in here, it's like you have somebody that needs to open up or you have somebody that needs to talk. This is somebody that's ready for this new adventure. There's something very, um, there's something that is changing with your person. And I feel like it's because they're tired of this back and forth energy where they're constantly changing their mind. And it's like when they, when they're confused with what they want or when they change their mind and they go back and forth, right? It's ultimately this person is being very confusing emotionally to you because of their flighty energy. They say one thing, but then they do another. And it's because this person had a level of uncertainty with whether or not they could really have everything with you. Because whatever they were told, however they were raised, there was a heavy emphasis on staying with inside of this box. And I feel like for the two of you, your love does not fit into a box. Your love is infinite. It's not meant to be contained. It's meant to give light and, and energy to other people around you. And now this person is beginning to realize that when they were in communication with you, when they were talking to you, when they were able to be around you in your presence and in your energy, that there was a beautiful harmony between the two of you. And it's because the two of you were in tuned with one another. And it's the fact of the way that you guys get along. It's like you got this person. I don't know why I keep getting like you understood them. There was certain things that they could say to you and you could read between the lines. Even if there was a lack of communication, you still understood this person and it's because you were very easy going with them. Granted, with all of this physical wand energy coming in, I wanna spend more time with you, I need your body, all this type of energy, there's obviously a heavy attraction spiritually, mentally, and physically and it's because the two of you have this magnetic energy but it's also this chemistry. This is somebody that manifested you. They have this desire to be with you 
and ultimately at the end of the day there was some type of major event that's occurred recently with this person that brought this level of awareness to the forefront with how they feel all the distractions all the things that they did to fill their life with 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 other um you know possibilities it's like this person is is beginning to realize that you are their only choice why try to mimic something when you can have the authentic original but there is somebody here that is really really working hard on their finances you may notice that when you and your person get to talking again all of a sudden they're working a lot more, they're doing certain things. You have the ability to motivate this person and push this person to do better. But this person is not only doing better for themselves, but they also wanna do better for you, right? I've noticed that. And that's come up in a couple of readings where somebody is very fixated and very focused on money the moment that they get back around their twin or around their counterpart. And it's because they wanna be able to provide or they wanna be able to show you that they are stable and that they're able to stand um, on their own two feet. Because I feel like with this person, having these rocky short-term relationships or you know, just out having fun, nobody really pushes them to want to do better or to be better. And I think that you've given them this energy where you're here with them regardless, with or without whatever they have. And this is about this person having the fortitude to create this everlasting love with you and understanding that you are a long-term investment and either they're all in or they're all out. Because for you, this is something that you believe is for forever. You always know how, knew how to make me smile. You may be somebody that's very charming, um, very sweet. It's like... I, it's funny because they're saying that there were times that you didn't even realize whatever your person was going through. And if you just sent a funny meme or if you're somebody that just sent like, hey, I'm thinking about you. I hope you're good. Whatever it is, like you had the ability to really pull this person out of their funk and give them a different perspective. When this person, I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they have a lot of emotional burdens and a lot of physical burdens. But it's crazy because... I don't think you look at them as burdens. I think that you just look at it as part of the person that you've accepted. It's like that 80-20, right? 80% of them is good. 20% of them drive you crazy. But it's things you're working on. It's that type of energy, right? It's the energy that you would always know how to make this person smile, right? You would always know, even if it was something stupid and your person was going through something, maybe you... For instance, I remember one time I sent somebody a picture of, um, I think it was like a baby goat. And I was like, so if you came home and I had this baby goat, what would you, what would you say to me, right? It's something so stupid, but I think sometimes with as challenging as life becomes, we forget to keep it simple, right? We forget to go back to basics and to remember that whatever we're going through in that very moment, it's just for a moment. It's not for a lifetime. And happiness, believe it or not, only 20% of our happiness, and this is scientifically proven, <clears throat> only 20% of our happiness is determined by our environment. What does that mean? That means that the other 80% is dictated by us, by the way we feel, by the way we live, by the things, by our mentality, by our, by our perception, but our sense of gratitude, right? It's something about you where no matter what you're going through with this individual, there's always this moment where you make them laugh or you just know how to make them feel good, make them feel less insecure or less stressed out about their situation. And you're dealing with somebody that's obviously, you know, um, a stalker, okay? You're dealing with somebody that watches you very, very closely. And I feel like I get anxiety to lurk you. This person wants to know what you're doing, but at the same point in time, especially if you've not been in communication, they get scared to, scared to look. What happens if I look on their page? What happens if I drive by their house? Creep of the week, 
right? Freak of the week, whatever. Um, what happens if I drive by their house and somebody is there? There's another car there that I don't know. What happens if I look at their Instagram and they're posting a coffee date with somebody else or there's another drink? Who are they with? It's like this person, it's crazy because they've not come forward and completely expressed to their entirety of how they feel. This is somebody that's repressed a lot. But when it comes to you, it's like they can't help themselves but want to watch you. There's somebody here that wants to get married. There's somebody here that wishes that you and them could just run off together. This is somebody that's been thinking about marriage with you. I've been thinking about you today. They've been thinking about you for a while. See, every time they go, they're like, I'm going to say something. I'm going to do it. But then what am I going to say? right? Then they go back to this place of um, weird energy where they talk themselves out of it. I just get with you, whoever I'm like talking to right now as a collective, like I'm sitting here and I'm smiling and I have this weird, creepy grin on my face. And it's like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm in a very Piscean energy right now where it's a fantasy energy. It's something about the way that you're tender. It's something about the fact that you have such a very beautiful, gentle spirit about you. Okay, in the comment section, in order to win the $50, you guys need to enter the word smile with your favorite emoji, okay? Thursday, um, all of the winners are going to be picked on Thursday. So keep, keep a lookout for the community board because every reading, I want to be able to give you guys back something um, just because I appreciate you. It's free money. You have to make sure you're subscribed. You have to make sure that, um, let's see, you're subscribed to the channel, you like the video, and you enter in the code word because it is a manual drawing, okay? So with that being said, but I get overwhelmingly like, there's just this deep um, longing, like you make this person happy. This is the first reading I think I've ever done with you where this person is in this very uh, euphoric state. And in this euphoric state, right, they're realizing how much that you were able to get them to care deeply, able to push them to certain limits inside of their self that they weren't able to go. And they're, re they're really in this energy of, you know, the two of you being a very amazing couple. I want to tell you that I love you. Look, this is somebody that's sitting here thinking deeply about you. This is somebody, like I said, it's like they're, they're waking up, right? Good morning, sleeping beauty. Like whoever this person is, they're beginning to wake up to the, to the idea or to the reality of who you are. And this is, I feel like you've had, you've gone through many detours this has been a very complicated situation where you had to be very strong in your grounding and in your roots. And you really built a foundation with trust with somebody, even though the stability was lacking with inside of them. This is somebody that even has their people watching you. You know, again, with, with um, you know, Sally Stalker here. Sorry if your name is Sally. Um, but... You know, there's somebody here that's definitely watching you. Two of Swords, Page of Swords, Four of Swords. This is definitely coming in as, um, you know, somebody is watching you. And me and you are meant to be. Congratulations. Thank you for waking up and coming to the party, right? I feel like a lot of you are sitting there going, I've been telling them that. I've been telling them we're meant to be. I've been telling them you know that you feel this way about me. Why are you playing around? But this is somebody that can't stop thinking about you, can't stop thinking about your body, can't stop thinking about you. And it's because they had to go through this dark night of the soul and they had to do this level of soul searching where they needed to work on their own personal issues. And you've motivated this person. You've given this person a sense of self. And I feel like when you thought you were growing apart from this person, what it did was it allowed this person to evolve. It allowed this person to question their past actions and ask themselves about their current decisions. 
and it gave them time to see that you were nothing but loyal to them and that you stood by this person through thick and thin because there is this underlying level of love. This is somebody that feels like it doesn't feel right to be apart from you. It doesn't feel good. They feel like the two of you are meant to kind of come together as one and you're meant to do something very, very significant. What, what, why are they stalking the collective? I feel like God's like, you know why. Why are they watching the collective so closely? Page of Cups. Because they're a secret admirer. The Page of Cups is somebody that is very sweet, very caring, right? It's not like the Page of Swords that's kind of like a pain in the, you know, caboose. It's not like, granted, I feel like the Page of Swords is going to come out. But this is somebody that admires the way that you are, admires the way that you move. You have this sense of sensitivity towards other people. Plus, believe it or not, this person fantasizes a lot about you. And you've pushed this person to a place where they're very, very emotional. And I'm not talking about that emotional damage. Not that. Maybe they've caused that with you more than likely. But... You've really opened this person up to their emotions and they're very, very surprised at thing, how things are continuing, continuously manifesting for the two of you. Because the thing about you is this person is beginning to understand that they manifested you, right? You were this person's desires. You, you were this person. This person wanted to create you in reality and here you are. And they're watching you because you're a master at your craft. You're a master at what you do. They're very, very fixated and very focused because for a lot of you, they're very much in love with the way you think. It's like you turn this person on mentally and because you turn them on mentally, it turns them on physically, emotionally, spiritually, and all of the above. This person has also watched you go through many adversities and be a complete problem solver. There's nothing within this connection that's held you back. You've always been somebody that's been very, very progressive in this situation. And they watch you fix, fix things. Something breaks and you fix it. They're viewing you as somebody that's very, very magical. Oh, um, and also too, for the people in the comments saying, I don't know what sign it's dealing with, so that doesn't make sense. It's a vibration, right? Because, again, I always say this. I'm a Gemini, and I know a lot of Geminis, and when I'm Geminiing, they're not Geminiing the same way I'm Geminiing. So it is a frequency, right? You can talk to 100 Capricorns, but you may be the only person that is going through something that you're going through because you're at an elevated state. So this is a frequency. I can give you signs, but at the end of this day, the signs don't mean anything. The signs are energy that is associated with the cards, okay? So magician, Gemini, uh, Aries, Scorpio, Virgo. So you're dealing with somebody right now or this person is beginning to understand the way that you work and there is something very magical about you and magical about the way that you you handle things. And I feel like this person is trying to manifest you back in their life because they want to spin the block. They want to come back around. This is somebody that wants to make the amends, right? The chariot is a victory card. All of a sudden, the person that's been dragging their feet, right? Have you ever tried to take a dog out for a walk? They didn't want to go. Or have you ever tried to give a cat a bath for those cat lovers, right? Impossible, okay? It's like you were trying to force this person to do something that they did not want to do. Now, all of a sudden, this person is beginning to understand because the path is being illuminated and you're like, hey, buckle up, Batman, because I'm on the road. I'm in my Barbie car, homie. So you're either coming along or you're getting left in the dust. And this person knows that wherever you're going is somewhere very magical. You're following the yellow brick road to your place of happiness. And this person is acknowledging that you provide a sense of stability and a sense of happiness. And this is part of the destiny. This is part of their journey right? And it's about you and this person getting on the same page and moving in the same direction, overcoming the adversities, overcoming the obstacles and doing the right thing, especially with the world card here. For some of you, you may be uh, different than this person. 
you have Capricorn, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio energy, Cancer energy is here as well. The 21st, 121 may be significant uh, for you guys. That may be something that's coming in here that is going to be very, very important. But there is this vindication pertaining to who you are. It's like this person can no longer pretend that they're happy when they're not. This person can no longer put on a facade and and fake the funk, right? Eventually faking the funk gets to a point where it begins to eat you from the inside out. This person is tired of being hollow and disassociated or disoriented when it comes to love. This person is in this energy with the world energy. It's like, I want to take things to the next level. I want to elope. I want to do the next thing. I want to go to the next step. I've learned my karmic lesson. I'm willing to leave something behind. For some of you, this is somebody that wants to move in with you, but they see you and they see the attention that you are receiving. They see your success. They see you leveling up. They see your achievements and accolades that you are getting in your profession, in your life, in your community, whatever it may be. And this is something that this person has to acknowledge that you are continuous, you are continuing to prosper while they're continuing to stay stagnant because they refuse to hop on the train. They refuse to get with the program. Now this person is saying, listen, I see things clearly now. What is that wind song? I can see clearly now. The rain has gone, right? Something about this person. It's like all of a sudden they're tired of the woe is me, the Eeyore energy, nothing ever happens. Bom, 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 bom. Whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop, right? Like this person is tired of it. So what does it mean when they're tired of it? That means that they're lacing up their bootstraps and they're doing what they need to do because now all of a sudden there's a lot of progression, right? The chariot in the world, there's some type of knowledge that's coming in here pertaining to this person, pertaining to them wanting to see you, them wanting to talk to you, them wanting to open up some type of level of communication. The world here is like the world wide web, right? It's knowledge. Your person has received a level of knowledge either by whatever they're looking at you and it's changing the way that they see the world. There's a lot of movement here. Either you're moving, your person is moving. There's something here about movement. And again, with a lot of major arcana, this is not a coincidence. The last time we did a love reading on Monday, there was a lot of major arcana because this is a major monumental moment in your life that is going to change the your future. It's going to change the projection. And with you, you, you win. This is a win-win. This is a new start here to rebuild. This is the key thing here is destiny. And there is some type of turn. What's changing here? What's changing here that's making this person in this energy it's like a very like nostalgic energy it's like this person is 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 fantasizing and remembering like your essence your hair i don't know what it is but it's like this person is remembering certain moments that you had with them even if it was conversation if it was they took you out for your birthday or you guys went somewhere it's like they're remembering certain things like that moment in the hotel where you guys are talking on the balcony or what I don't know why but I get that it's a very nostalgic energy where they're no longer having these negative emotions that are associated to you but why what's changing because you know I'm nosy I'm over here like but why you know I'm like that irritating kid okay the sun the Page of Swords. Uh, we're going to lay them out here. The Six of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. You have a lot of new beginnings. The Magician is a one. The Ace is a one. The Wheel of Fortune is 10, which is ultimately a one. Because this person is realizing you're the light. Despite however people wanted to portray you and portray your energy, you're the light. You provide a sense of happiness and you are happy with or without your person. Because again, I think that whoever I'm talking to, you are elevated. You are in an elevated state where you understand your happiness doesn't depend on other people. Can other people affect it? Absolutely. 
But at the same point in time, it's like this person wants this major reunion with you. They want to talk to you. They're watching you very closely. For some of you, you may be looking younger than what you normally look. Or there's something that you're doing or something that you're saying. Something recently that triggered them. Triggered this memory. Triggered this moment. And by the way, um, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Let's see things from their perspective. From their 3D self. And this is going to be in the extended, okay? Show me, please. Whoa, whoa. Come on, come on back in here. I haven't even asked the question yet. How does this person view their current romantic relationship with the collective? What is their perception? Woo, the Queen of Swords. Listen, this Queen of Swords is a bad mamma jamma, okay? But I also feel like the Queen of Swords is having this logical moment, but it's also balance, right? It's Libra energy. So watching you, there's something very significant coming in. How do they view themselves in this connection with the collective? What is their role? Mm, the star. I love that because it's renewed hope. There's something here about this person making a wish and having this understanding, right? It's about this spiritual enlightenment that's occurring here. And what about the collective? How do they view the collective in this connection? How do they view the collective in this connection? You know, I say this every reading, but this card comes out damn near every reading. I mean, they view you as the one, not the two, not the three, not the four. But they view you as the one. They view you as a person that they're meant to be with. What is what does this person view as a block? What does this person view as a block with the with the collective? What what do they feel like is blocking this connection? Determination. This person has to put forth the energy. They cannot continue to allow the world to pass them by, and it's because this person has gone through a lot of pain in their life with whatever situation. By the way, we have four more cards to pull. All of this will be available on the extended and the extended is available in Vimeo and the link for that will be in the comment section below. It's great because it's a smaller group of people that are watching it. So you really do get a deep dive insight, which is almost tailored as a very, very personal reading. You can read the comments for the collective um, extendeds it, it, it is very personal and it is very, very detail oriented because it gives you a deep dive into your person's psyche, into the way that they're thinking and the way that they're moving. OK, so the link for that will be in the comment section. OK, all right. What is this person thinking about heavily when it comes to the collective? What did I say? They're in this Piscean energy. They're in this energy where they're fantasizing about you. They're remembering the times that they had with you, the times they went to the movies, the time that they went here, whatever it may be. And what is their next action towards the collective? What is their next action towards the collective romantically? The collective's person, Knight of Pentacles, okay? So as far as action is concerned, this is somebody that's taking some time to really process and really think about what their next action is. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, slow. But the thing about the Knight of Pentacles is you don't see them moving and it's because there's a lot of internal movement versus external, okay? Um, let's see. What is this person hiding? What is this person hiding in this connection? What is this person hiding, hiding from the collective? Okay, vitality. Something here about this person needing to you know, move forward. And especially with principle here, it's a way that this person was raised. There's something here that you need to know about the way that this person goes about things or the way that this person handles certain things. And what is the collective's advice? What is the collective's advice here when it comes to, when it comes to this person? Wow, the world. Fulfillment and satisfaction in all of your achievements, Closure, success, and anticipation. Woo, this is interesting. All right, so I'm really, really excited because I really want to know why are they in this euphoric state? And there's something here that's happened because remember, the tower, the tower hits and then the star comes. So your person is coming out of this tower moment with this renewed sense of faith. So what happened 
that put this person in this star moment because they're very, very hopeful or this is somebody that now has a plan of action with the way that they want to move or the way that they want to go about things. I'm also curious too, with the fact that they view you as their twin flame or they view you as their divine counterpart, this may be somebody also that doesn't know the terminology, you know, divine person, whatever, but this is um, somebody that is understanding that your energy is different than anything that they felt before. I'm really excited to get into this. All right, my loves, this is your reading. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. It means the world to me. Make sure you put the winning phrase. I mean, it's free money. Why would you not? For those of you guys that are coming over to Vimeo, simply click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo where you could purchase the extended. With that being said, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. And until next time.